Andrew? Hey. Hey. Girls asleep? Yeah. How'd your meeting go? Good, you know, same old co-op biz. You look pale. Andrew's marriage to Haley was, you know, he was in love with her, but I think he conned her too. Like, she thought he was a great guy. What have you done? I've made us money, Haley. Money? That's yes. it? Yes, yes. And to make money, you have to gamble. And to gamble, you have to take risks. You've turned us and into pariahs. And risks require nerves and guts. Money. But you wouldn't know anything about that, Haley, because you have for no your guts. your family, Andrew. These are your children. Haley, up to a certain point, thinks that she's in a somewhat normal relationship with a very passionate person certainly and you know someone who has his extremes and his crazy behavior but then when it becomes clear just how erratic his behavior is and how deeply he's involved in corruption and fraud and 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 things like that she's pretty shocked I want it please please I want it I want, want it. it Nancy represents everything that Rob has not had known or is Nancy is what's exciting and different and not constrained by the upper crust society that he's grown up in. She's free and she makes him feel he's gonna be able to be free through her. I do think often in life opposites do attract. And I think that people are drawn to each other because the other person embodies all the qualities they wish they had more of. And I think that the relationship sort of was incredibly hot at the beginning and all of the things that make things work at the beginning generally drive people crazy by the end.